Lion's Mane is continuously marketed as a supplement for mental performance, memory and focus, but is it actually legit? There is a new scientific article that evaluates the most common memory supplements and the clinical and scientific evidence behind them. This video focuses on the results of that review, specifically focusing on Lion's Mane Mushroom. I'm also going to share my own experience with Lion's Mane because I did use it when I was studying at the university. In 2021, the global brain health supplement market value was over 7 billion US dollars, and it's predicted to increase to over 15 billion US dollars by 2030. Memory supplements have the highest global revenue share in this market. But did you know that FDA is actually not evaluating the claims of safety or efficacy for the supplements that are marketed as a memory supplements? In fact, FDA writes, before you decide to take a supplement, you should know that the FDA does not approve dietary supplements for safety and effectiveness of their labeling before they are sold into public. Dietary supplement companies are responsible for ensuring that their products are safe and accurately labeled. So let's talk about this Oven Fresh article about memory supplements and their efficacy and look if Lion's Mane is actually effective. They looked at human evidence of randomized controlled trials. This article classified the supplements into three categories. No compelling evidence for memory enhancement, mixed evidence for memory enhancement, and yes, some evidence that this supplement may improve memory. The article found no evidence in terms of memory with things like L-theanine, omega-3 fatty acids, vitamin B6, vitamin B9, and others. It found mixed evidence with supplements like king of biloba, vitamin D, and vitamin A, and others. And it found some evidence for asvacanta, choline, curcumin, ginger, lion's mane, polyphenols, phosphatidylserine, and turmeric. So lion's mane was in the category of there is placebo-controlled human trials that show that lion's mane may improve memory. So now I wanted to see all of the human trials and what kind of tests did they use for memory and what is the, like, what is the effect size, how much can it actually improve memory. So let's look at these studies. The first study had 30 participants between ages 50 and 80, and they took 3,000 milligrams of lion's mane powder each day for 16 weeks. At weeks 8, 12, and 16, all participants in lion's mane group had significantly improved memory score measured with the revised Hasegawa dementia scale. And when the intervention ended, they lost these gained memory benefits. So that's quite compelling. The next study looked at lion's mane effectiveness in healthy 60-year-old people. The participants used 3.2 grams of lion's mane for four weeks. So this is pretty similar dose than the first study. So for some reason, they used mini mental state examination in healthy population to assess memory. And I want to discuss this because this is very important. They also used Benton visual retention test and word pair learning test. Only the mini mental state examination showed a significant result, but let's discuss it. So they definitely conclude that we confirmed that intake of lion's mane was significantly effective for the improvement of the cognitive functions, especially in a mini mental state examination. So mini mental state examination is a cognitive screening tool for dementia and Alzheimer's disease. It is not very sensitive test. You need to be quite cognitively impaired to get a low score in this test. So it asks questions like, what's the date? What's the year? What's the weekday? Draw a clock. You need to fold paper. And so you get easily 30 points if you are healthy. So let's look at the scores. So in this test, the before the intervention, both groups were already at almost the ceiling. They were scoring almost full points. After the experiment, the lion's main group scored full points and the placebo group scored half a point below the full score. And you can see that, for example, somebody made a slight mis mistake on calculation or probably said the wrong day. Okay, there might be a statistically different um, improvement in the group's but they are practically and clinically both doing very well and normal in these tests. So in this case, I would take these results a little bit with a grain of salt. 
this third study was actually designed in a very cool way. So they had patients with mild cognitive impairment who used lion's mane for one year at the dose of 1050 milligrams per day divided in three doses. They did comprehensive cognitive assessment, ophthalmic examinations, biomarker collection and neuroimaging studies. And they also found an improvement in the same MMSE minimal mental state examination test and cognitive abilities screening instrument. So again, the minimal mental state examination increased by two points. They were in the category of mild cognitive impairment and it went from 21 to 23, still leaving them in the same category of mild cognitive impairment. However, it would be assumed that if these people were going towards Alzheimer's disease, for example, they would have maybe decreased in their scores, but they did improve. So that's kind of nice, um, a nice finding in that sense. These were the only three human trials that they were able to find with lion's mane. And based on this information, they concluded that, that lion's mane could show some memory improvements. Um, it looks like it might be the most effective with people with cognitive impairment, like who are already having some decline in their cognition. So why everyone talks about lion's mane? What is the hype about lion's mane that it's so powerful for memory? Lion's mane contain at least two bioactive ingredients, hericinans and erinacins. In animal studies, they have shown to promote nerve growth factors. Nerve growth factors are needed to make neuroplastic changes in the brain and make memories. Animal studies also suggest that lion's mane may improve dopamine and noradrenaline signaling, which may improve your ability to attend information better, which technically could mediate better memory benefits as well. But as we can see, although the human studies are pointing towards that direction, the evidence is still very thin. So I briefly want to also mention my own experience with Lion's Men because I have used it six years on and off and it remains one of my favorite supplements because first of all, it tastes as good. I usually add it in my coffee and it's a culinary mushroom. So it's used in cooking as well. Secondly, when I was using it during my university studies, I noticed that it did improve uh, my mental energy, my zest, my kind of general brain functioning. Uh, at least that's my personal experience with it. And I feel like it really did have uh, an effect on my memory and brain health. I actually have a full seven minute video of my experience with lion's mane. So if you're interested, go check that out. In that video, I will explain more thoroughly how I felt with lion's mane. So the conclusion of this video is that lion's mane is still believed to be beneficial for the memory and marketed as a memory supplement due to the animal studies and the biological effects and the compounds that it has. However, the human randomized controlled research trials are still scarce. So it leaves it up to the user to decide whether or not they find benefits from lion's mane supplement. I hope it helped. And if you're interested to hear about my lion's mane supplement experiments, or Ashwakanta experiment or NAC experiment, check the videos in my channel. Well, I hope to hear from you in the comments and see you in the next video.